All right, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to use Magic Wand, and we're going to do Select, and just click outside the alligator head. And then do Select, Inverse. So I guess it's just the alligator head, and then we're going to do Layer, New Adjustment Layer, Color Balance. Click OK. See, because it's kind of a mask over here, white and black. And because we selected that first, when we change this, put the cyan down just a little bit, take the, all the way over to the yellow side, you can see that it changes. Pull the green up just slightly. All of that that we had selected. Okay. Now if we take our paintbrush in here, Make sure our black is forward. Increase our size a little bit. A little bit more. We come in here, basically we're painting back in the colors of the mouth. So the kind of the pinks and things that were down inside the mouth here. We want those back. Kind of go over the teeth as well. That's a little less green. Okay. With our eraser, let's make it a little more fuzzy this time. Just kind of uh, go back to the mouth layer. Let's kind of erase a little more of that down. Okay, let's reduce our opacity down to about 50%. Just erase a little bit, it's just going to blend those edges a little bit. By reducing the opacity, it only erases, it doesn't make a hard erase, it just makes more of a soft erase. So that just helps to blend a little bit. Okay, and then we need to come down here. Well, let's use our dodge and burn tools, which are these two right here. Dodge means to make things lighter. So we can add, you know, come over here and make the top of his face a little bit lighter in here. Burn means to make things darker. And this goes back to kind of photography tools. If you've ever taken a photography class, dodge and burn. Okay. So darken up the bottom of the head down here. Kind of increase the shadow. And then we'll come to here the background copy and burn in down here underneath the head as well. Burn a little bit, let go. Burn a little bit, let go. Basically create a shadow for this head. Okay, if we need to soften and erase. Soften and erase this ultimate edge right here. Oops. Wrong layer. It's easy to do to get that wrong layer in there. Okay. I can continue to work this, make this better, but you don't want to sit here and watch me make little tiny, tiny adjustments over and over again. So um, now it's your turn to kind of make your own animal hybrid Frank and Pet thing. Take two or more different animals and we're kind of combining them together. If you look in Angel, please take a moment and look at Angel. There are lots of reference images of other ones that have been done. So you can look and see what you know other people have done as examples rather than just diving right in. Imagine that to take a little bit of time and 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 look before you dive into something. Okay? So uh, what else do we do? We use our eraser tool. 
we use our selection tool to move things together around. We use the transform. Uh, we used and we used something new, the color balance layer that we made sure that was had something selected before we did color balance layer. So we didn't know to change the colors for everything. Alright. Good luck. Have fun. Create something be creative in what you create what you put together. You know, think about what animals you're putting together. Okay? It helps a lot if you have two things kind of facing the same general direction. I mean, you can flip and rotate and do all that. Yes, you can, but it just makes it a little bit less hassle if you have things kind of working the same way when you start. All right, good luck.